Hey guys, it's Framed, and I'm here to bring you a quest guide done easy on the Quest Dragon Slayer. If this video receives 200 likes, then I will release the Monkey Madness quest guide on either Saturday or Sunday. The only two requirements for this quest are to have 31 quest points, and if you do not want to pay 10k, to have 33 magic. I strongly urge you guys to do this quest with 43 prayer. It's possible to do it without it, but it is very hard, because I actually had a hard time doing this with prayer. If you don't know how to get 43 prayer easily, then my friend Goody actually put a quick tip out on it, so I will put that in the description for you guys. I would also highly recommend doing this quest with a friend. The items required for this quest are 90 steel nails, 3 planks, a hammer, 2k, an unfired bowl, a lobster pot, Silk and a Wizard's Mind Bomb, and if you are going to telegrab later on, uh, which is 33 magic by the way, then bring one law and one air. You can buy most of the stuff at West Varrock in World 1, however, I just went around and got the supplies myself to save some money. To start off this quest, Head south of Varrock to the Champions Guild and speak with the Guildmaster. Ask if you can have a quest from him. After that, head to Edgeville and speak to Oziak. Select the top option every time. Head back to the Guildmaster and select the bottom option first, then scroll through all the available options to choose from. Next. Head to Falador and go to the Oracle on top of the mountain and select the first option. Then head south into the Dwarven Mines and head a bit southeast until you reach this door. Use the Silk, the Lobster Pot, the Unfired Bull, and the Wizard's Mind Bomb on the door and it will let you through then collect the map piece from the chest. Next, head southwest of Falador until you reach Melzar's Maze. First, kill the rats with the long curly tails until you receive a red key, then head through the northwest door at the end and head up the ladder. Next, kill the ghost with a hood on, but no cape. After you get the key, Go through the second orange door from the north and climb the stairs. In this room, kill a skeleton with the rounded shield. After you get the key, head through the southwestmost door at the bottom left and follow along the path until you reach the ladder. Go down these ladders and then kill a zombie. It does not matter which zombie you kill. Next, use the blue key on the door and kill Melzar and get the magenta key, and then kill the lesser demon in the next room. We can save spot this demon, I just had a bit of trouble finding it at first. I also borrowed my friend's mystic to speed up the process. After the demon is dead, head through the door and open the chest to receive the map piece. Exit the maze and head southeast until you reach the Port Serum Jail. If you don't want to spend 10k, then attack Wormbrain and he will drop the map piece, then telegraph it. If you don't have telegraph, then speak to Wormbrain and pay 10k for the map piece. Now put the map together and head east until you reach Clarence, then buy the boat from Clarence for 2k. After that, head onto the boat and go downstairs to fix the open hole. Do this three times until you fix the boat. Next, teleport to Lumbridge and head to the second floor to talk to the Duke. Select the first option three times and then select the second option once. Now head over to Ned and Draenor Village and select the first option. After this you are about to go to Crandor, so get ready to fight. Go to the bank and get any extra food you need, I would suggest anything above lobsters uh, or lobsters themselves. And if you have 43 prayer, then bring three prayer potions. After you're done banking, head back over to your boat in Port Serum and board it. Then talk to Ned and select the first option. A cutscene will occur, then you'll be on the island.
head towards the middle of the island and go to the top of it and enter the cave. Another small cutscene will occur. Follow the path until you reach Evelarg and then climb in. Halfway through I actually ran out of food and pots so I needed to get them for my friend. So this is why I would recommend doing this quest with a friend. One suggestion I do have for killing Evelarg is walking under him after every time you hit him. He will take significantly less damage and he will do a lot less hits. After Evelarg is dead, get out of the arena and head south until you find a wall. Push it so you will always be able to come back to this part of the island, and once you step through, you will be on Karamja. Now head back to Oziak and speak to him. The quest will now be complete. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, if this video gets 200 likes, then I will release a Monkey Madness quest guide on Saturday or Sunday.